You have changed my morning into dancing, O Lord, and have girded me with joy. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. In these days as we uh, approach Friday, May 1st, which is not only the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker, near and dear to our parish, it's also the day when all of the bishops of our country will unite in an act of consecration or reconsecration of America to the Blessed Virgin Mary in anticipation of these things in order to prepare our own hearts for that great um, celebratory occasion. Offering today uh, Mass from the Common of the Blessed Virgin Mary in Easter time. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we pray, that through, through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may receive the joys of everlasting life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God. His tremendous deeds are the, are the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Oh. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. few things happening in Acts that I just want to touch on briefly today. Um, first of all, that uh, the persecution in the church comes early, um, and most significantly perhaps in today's uh, passage at the hands of Saul, the one who will become eventually, we know, Paul the apostle. But Saul is uh, it's a bit of a different animal, isn't he? Um, Saul, we see this kind of vengeance uh, like that he wants to to wage on Christians dragging men and women out of their homes out of their churches in order to be handed over for imprisonment for following Jesus Paul himself will wind up being jailed for being a Christian one day think about like just that amazing contrast for me it's a sign of hope here's why so often in my own life when I think that maybe I can't change, I feel like I'm stuck. You look at a guy like Saul. He couldn't have possibly changed more. He was so adamantly against anything that had to do with Christ. And yet he would become you know, the like, foremost preacher of Christianity, at least in the early church, if not ever. I mean, he wrote the bulk of the New Testament. So that's just one thing for us to consider is, it's like, yeah, God can really change us a lot if we let him, if we cooperate along the way. The other thing is how uh, those who were scattered, right, they had, to, they had to flee Jerusalem because of the persecution, but they just took their, their message other places. Uh, okay, well, if we do this in Jerusalem, we're going to get thrown in jail or, you know, we're going to be hurt or our property is going to be seized or whatever. They're going to make life hard on us. That's okay. We'll just go down to Samaria and all these other places and we'll start preaching there. And it works, you know. So we see how God is present in the midst even of persecution, even in when things that are going uh, not according to God's plan, God still weaves it into his plan and works with it. He makes it work. Um, he's not there preventing the persecution. He's not there imposing his will on the persecutors but he cooperates with those who are persecuted in order to bring them to a place where they can still fulfill their mission, where they can still remain in relationship with him, where they don't have to be persecuted, and so the church grows. Um, you know, at this point, probably everybody's seen it, just that little meme that goes around. It's got, you know, God and the devil, and the devil saying, ah, look, I've used this virus to close all your churches. And God says back, you know, on the contrary, I've used this to open a church in every home, you know, and there's really something to that, you know, just 
what are all the different ways that, that God can use uh, the difficulties in our life? I know I, I, know I like kind of relate everything to our, our current circumstance here, but how many other things in life could we say that about? You know, right now there's people losing jobs. We could talk about that. What about people who are struggling with addictions? We could talk about that. What about people who are in prison? We could talk about that. What about people who have been abused or people who have, I don't know, their spouses have been unfaithful to them or you name it, you name it, or just you're having a bad day. Even in those moments, God's at work. Right? He's still going to use it to weave it into his plan. Even if he's not the cause of that evil thing, he's still saying, okay, well, since that happened, I'm just going to have to weave that into my plan now. But I'm still with you. I'm still sovereign. I'm still going to bring about my ultimate will. Jesus is the bread of life, nourishing us now and forever. Turn to him with all of our needs, knowing that God the Father wills the best for all of his people. Come to him with our needs and those of our, our neighbors as well. For Catholic missionaries, may God give them strength and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For judges and all who work in law enforcement, May God, the perfect judge, bless them with the gifts of wisdom, justice, and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who bear the burdens of loneliness, infirmity, poverty, or lack of basic necessities, let us pray to the Lord. For the children in our community, may the Holy Spirit help them grow in grace and knowledge of God's saving power. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, May Jesus accept them to himself and bring them everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Today we pray for Mariel Guerrero, for who this Mass is offered. Remember also uh, Father Jacques, Father Luke Jalicor, uh, Father Terry will celebrate Mass for him. Remember also the repose of the soul of Gloria Ines and Gloria Acero. Father Dominic will offer Mass for them. For these intentions and all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of compassion, you will eternal life for all of your children here on earth. Listen to our prayers and grant what is best through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary. And grant, we pray, that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, I in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out 
for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with, your, with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. A new stay, qui tolis pecata mundi, miserere nobis. A new stay, qui tolis pecata mundi, miserere nobis. A new stay, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Rejoice, O Virgin Mother, for Christ has risen from the tomb. Alleluia. <coughs> I invite you to join me in this prayer of spiritual communion. At thy feet, O oh my Jesus, I prostrate myself, and I offer thee repentance of my contrite heart, which is humbled in its nothingness and in thy holy presence. I adore thee in the sacrament of thy love, the ineffable Eucharist. I desire to receive thee into the poor dwelling that my heart offers thee, while waiting for the happiness of sacramental communion. I wish to possess thee in spirit. Come to me, O my Jesus, since I, for my part, am coming to thee. May thy love embrace my whole being in life and in death. I believe in thee. I hope in thee. I love thee. Amen. So for our prayer of Mary and consecration together. Immaculate conception, Mary, my mother, live in me, act in me, speak in me and through me. Think your thoughts in my mind, love through my heart. Give me your dispositions and feelings. Teach me, lead me, guide me to Jesus. Correct, expand, and enlighten my thoughts and behaviors. Possess my soul. Take over my entire personality and life and replace it with yourself. Incline me to constant adoration and thanksgiving. Pray in me and through me, O Mother, let me live in you. Keep me in this union always. I am totally yours, Mary. You are all beautiful. Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of the mother of your Son may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. For our Prayer of Thanksgiving together after Mass. It's the Prayer of the Blessed Virgin Mary again. O Mary, Virgin and Mother most holy, behold, I have received your most dear Son, whom you conceived in your immaculate womb. 
brought forth, nursed, and embraced most tenderly. Behold him at whose sight you used to rejoice and be filled with all delight, him whom humbly and lovingly, once again, I present and offer him to you, to be clasped in your arms, to be loved by your heart, and to be offered up to the Most Holy Trinity as the supreme worship of adoration for your own honor and glory, and for my needs, and for those of the whole world. I ask you, therefore, most loving mother, entreat for me the forgiveness of all my sins and, in abundant measure, the grace of serving him in the future more faithfully and, at the last, final grace, so that with you I may praise him for all the ages of ages. Amen. Regina Celi Letare Alleluia Qui aque meruisti portare Alleluia Resurrexit Sicutixit Alleluia Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Gaure letare Virgo Maria, Alleluia. Quia surrexit Dominus vere, Alleluia.